This is getting embarrassing. The Nottingham Panthers got lit up on Sunday night, at the hands of the Manchester Storm, losing 5-1. And we need to talk about what is going on in Nottingham. They only have one win in regulation in March so far, and it was a tight 2-1 victory over Dundee, the last place team in the league. So Simmons opened the scoring under four minutes in, and although the Panthers picked up some momentum they could never get back in it. DeLuca, Harrison, Simmons with his second, and Fawcett the goal scorers, with no empty net or goal. The Storm played a solid game, absorbing the early pressure, but from then on they didn't need to be that great to secure the win. Anderson pulled one back for the Panthers, but they just looked passionless. The Panthers currently sit at 7th in the league, and Manchester is in 6th, 4 points clear of them with a game in hand. And honestly I could see Glasgow making things interesting if things keep going this way, as they have 3 wins and 1 loss in March. And it really sucks to see one of the biggest teams in UK hockey so far down the table, playing so poorly. After the game, Corey Nielsen said from the second onwards his squad's heads drop like someone kicked their dog. That kind of description of his players speaks volumes to me. It's like as soon as they run into any adversity in a game they just implode. This team is able to show flashes of skill, but time and again play passionless hockey. And I get that this isn't the team Nielsen put together, and he came into a difficult situation. But it's only got worse since then, and got no better when he came in mid-season. And I just question the team's direction at this point. This off-season Omar Pasha comes in as the president of hockey ops or general manager, whatever we want to call him. And it seemed like the Panthers were going to move forward to a more speedy, skilled, goal-scoring style of hockey that we haven't seen in Nottingham for a while. And they bring in speedy, skilled forwards like Brady, Welishka, and Hammond. He hires Gary Graham as coach, that was his guy, and he doesn't even make it to Christmas. Then they do a complete U-turn and bring Corey Nielsen back, who is known for being a defensive coach as a former defenseman himself. It just seems like the Panthers are lost at the minute. Their top points producer is Mike Hammond with 34 points in 46 games. Just for reference that makes him the 43rd in league scoring, actually think about that. The top scoring Panther doesn't even crack the top 40 players in the league. It's a defensive first team, that cannot keep the puck out of their net. I get they have had some injury troubles this year, and Welishka moving on obviously hurts, but this team just seems lost right now and it's super sad to see. But what do you guys think? Am I being too harsh? What do the Panthers need to do this off-season to get things back on track? And what do we think to Omar Pasha's job so far? Let us know in the comments below.